Hello everyone, and I am back with another semi-unboxing. This just arrived in the mail, and uh, this is the package that it came in. So I didn't get a U Gears box this time, I just got a package because it was just one puzzle. <laughs> also, I am trying my cell phone again this time because I have a new app that will let me, me more easily upload it to my computer. I really wish I had this last time because this can actually pause. So, um, let's crack this open and take a look inside, shall we? Alright, so it is not out of the box. And, like last time, I'm not going to build this on camera. But, this is the U-Gears gun in um, puzzle form. And hopefully I have enough um, space on my phone to do this. Um, well, just like last time, it's in several sheets. But unlike last time, oh, it's also got filling in it. In it. Huh, how about that? Uh, what was I going to say? Unlike last time. Anyway, this thing only has two sheets to it, surprisingly. And there's the instructions. Only two sheets to this thing. Makes me wonder just how compact this thing is. Of course, it is supposed to fit in an adult-sized hand. So there's that. And also, I do not see a pushing device here. Fortunately, I still saved the one I had from last time. So I will construct this thing and get back to you. Um, see you then, I guess. Yes. Bye. Hello, everyone. I am now, I am back with a, uh, with another review of the, um, the u -Gears model. And since I'm doing just one puzzle of the day, I am going to be doing a review and final thoughts in just what, at the same time. Now this is the U-Gears gun. It is, uh, according to this thing, a um, Wolf 01, which I have no idea what um, gun its verbal counterpart is. Maybe it's a wolf. <laughs> anyway, um, I was really excited to get this one because, well, it's a gun. Um, construction of this, well... The original idea was to build this and do a review on it in the same day that I received it, which was two days ago as of this recording. But family matters got involved and um, other commitments. So I was able to build it yesterday, and I've been playing with it. And the thing is, in order to make its gimmick work, you have to um, really grind down these edges, these ed edges over here. Because as you can see there, I had to slap mine a bit. This is its ammunition, one of the rubber bands it comes with. Oh, and by the way, I'm <clears throat> using a tripod that I made. And um, I apologize for um, any jostling of the thing of the tripod or if that video is a little slanted. Like I said, it's a homemade tripod. Now, this is how you load it. Can't really see the whole thing in frame, I apologize. And done. Now, it does have this safety in here which they recommend so that you don't accidentally fire while you're trying to load the thing or just regular safety stuff now the problem with this is that first off like i said you have to grind down these teeth right here because otherwise the rubber band's going to get caught cut in this thing and let me see now put take the safety off and And now, okay, you see that? You just went over the edges of the teeth. Now, before I ground these edges down, they were hindered. Now, I'm using my cell phone again because I, I've got a new app, a couple of new apps on my computer, and I may be able to merge the videos together if I go over the 15 minute, minute limit. And considering I'm already at two and three quarter, that's probably gonna happen. Now, the whole idea is that it keeps climbing until that happens. It keeps firing. It fires. Now, uh, also, it has a magazine under here, which may be a little tricky to get out, that holds a lot of extra ammo. It also supposedly holds um, this little gadget, which is supposed to attach to here, which can, but it's a bit of a pain to get off so that you can attach a sight or a laser pointer sight for this thing. 
I'm supposed to be able to hold it in here too, but I think you have to take it apart first, which becomes a bit of a nuisance. I may just you may just want to latch it onto here to um just get out of the way besides well it's personal preference I suppose looks wise. Now you're going to want to sand down the uh the trigger here because my camera doesn't want to focus because um I think my finger is actually starting to get bruised a little underneath here as much as I've been playing with it because it actually hurts to pull this thing now. If I did it on my left hand, I'm right-handed, then no pain. So I've sanded it since I started getting pain on my finger. So yeah. Okay, now this thing actually came with something the other puzzles I've done didn't. Sandpaper and wax. Now, I don't know if this is a gun exclusive, if they've forgotten the other puzzles, or if they watched my review and thought that they needed to include this. Now, I didn't use these because I still have my sandpaper and the, um, and the wax, wax from last time. So I still have plenty of that left over. Also, for those of you who are not aware, it shows this is a 240, and this stuff is an 80. Now, for those of you who are not aware, um, the lower the number, the coarser the paper. It basically means um, it's, that's how that's how coarse it is. The, the smaller the number, the coarser the sandpaper is. So I was able to do more damage, so to speak, with this than with this. Yeah, that was graceful of me. But, um, now this, now this thing actually doesn't come with toothpicks. It doesn't need them. Though it looks like it, like it might, might be designed for it right here, but um, you can't see all the way through there. Hmm. Anyway, uh, this is a neat little toy. It is extremely um, safe to use around to fire at others. I wouldn't recommend using it for a tank because you may be able to feel it at, might be able to, to feel it at close range. Yeah. yeah, you might be able to feel this thing at close range, but you can just barely feel it. Well, it does sting, but it's not like oh, 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 don't, don't hit me. <laughs> Sorry, that was ridiculously cartoonish of me, but yeah, that's you're not going to feel that. Um, so if you're shooting someone at a distance with clothes on or something, then no, you're not going. They're probably not going to feel it. But um, if anything, I would recommend using it for target practice alone. Just sharpening your skills because if you accidentally hit a window or a lamp or something with this, unless it's a really, really tall lamp or a really, really thin window pane, and actually I don't really think there was a window pane thin enough, you're not going to cause any damage with this. And speaking of target practice, this thing actually comes with... Two targets for you to play with. That was a nice, that was a nice little addition. And they're shipped like apples that you can paint them up or whatever. I paint them up if you want to. But now there's one slight problem with this thing. In the Yu-Gi-Oh's video link in the description, it shows you that you'll be able to pull this thing back, and it will fire like a regular handgun. Now these pieces can move individually, but Regular handgun, the idea behind it is when you pull the trigger, your a firing pin hits the bullet, or well, the shell casing technically, and it ejects the bullet. The kick from the shell casing, since you, all that gunpowder just exploded, shoots the um, the top piece back, causing the shell to be, to be um, ejected and another bullet to be put in place as the thing goes back forward. Well, in the video, they show this trigger going all the way back and actually disappearing, running partially into the, into, the, into the housing here. And then this piece then jumping back out. Mine doesn't do that. And I double checked my, um, my instructions here. Right, see here, uh, there's no way that could possibly happen. 
And like, there's there's not enough room for the trigger to disappear behind here, behind this grip here, the, 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 guard, the guard. And, um, where is it? I may have moved the pages there. No, I didn't move the pages. Well, shoot, where did I see? Ah, here it is. This piece. This is what allows the trigger to move the, um, move the top slide. And for some reason, my camera refuses to focus on it. Okay, well, this, um, this section right here, the only way I could figure that this could possibly work is if this was, this image was flipped around and designed to where this little piece here could actually be pushed up enabling it to jump over the hook once it gets all the way out here. Because as you see, it kind of looks like it was designed for a ramp right there. The way this thing is curved. But this, th there's no place for it to slide up to. And this thing is certainly not designed for this peg to go down. So I don't know what the deal is there. So yeah, a bit of misadvertising on that on your part there, you gears Disappointed in you. But all you have to do basically to fire this thing, and I may have a one in a million model that's that's like this, because when I ordered this thing initially, there was a back order on it. So um, I was so I was so surprised to get this as soon as I did. I guess they were mass you know, they were mass firing production of this thing. You pull it back. And you let go. That's how you find the rubber bands. But in the in the commercial, they show you pulling back, pulling back further, which I can't demonstrate with this, and it releasing, causing the rubber bands to be launched off. So yeah, um, this is a cute little toy for target practice and completely harmless if you're shooting things. Anything not fragile, a little very tiny and fragile. Go ham on it. Like, your computer screen. Bang, bang. The ball. Bang, bang. Pretty much anything you have set up. Yes, I am a bit of a pack rat. Go crazy. Because this thing isn't going to cause any harm to anything. I mean, matter of fact, it may, you may even be able to do trick shots with it for the, with a candlelight. Don't know. Hadn't just thought about that one. I haven't tried it. Go crazy. I... These things are ammunition. You can probably find them at any Home Depot or other was office store. So anyway, um, brief cut while I go to <laughs> oh, brief cut, and I'm getting at the close to the 15 minute mark. So this may be this may turn into a second bit. It may be a, be more than a brief cut, but anyway, a slight cut to where I go to uh, my final thoughts on the thing and my star rating. See you then. Hello everyone. Before we start this Final Thoughts video, I uh, remembered I forgot to mention something in the um, in the re in the uh, review. This thing actually comes with spare parts. These little pieces and these long skinny pieces. I mean, seriously, easily easily broken. Fortunately, I didn't break any, so no problem there. It's just rather unique that any puzzle would have spare parts. So in between the um, the wax and the um, sandpaper and the paper and the um, pusher piece. It almost seems like they're telling you to uh, buy the safe and the gun before anything else. So you have all the equipment you need. Hmm. Anyway, on to the final thoughts. All right, people. Final thoughts time. And this time I thought I'd do something kind of creative. Target practice. Now, I've actually gone, done this a couple of times already to see if I can actually hit these things. And uh, I can just takes practice, like everything in life. All right, here we go. So for this gun, I give a reading of if I can hit this thing. Huh. Close enough. Four out of five stars. It had five stars until I found out about the uh, way it was supposed to work. And then the UDU is going to start off for false advertising. Very bad. 
And like I said, I went over the instructions. I went, I even looked into this thing itself to see if um, it was built correctly. And I just examined everything I could and I don't see how this thing is supposed to be able to fire like a regular handgun. Like, you're supposed to squeeze the trigger. You can see it easier like this. You're supposed to squeeze the trigger. And this thing is supposed to slide back on the way and click forward. You have to release the trigger to do that. Something is not right here. But like I said, it's not me. It's not the instructions. It's the manufacturing of the gun design itself because the, com the video you know, and the description and the gun here are not designed the same way. Something is wrong. New gears. You need to fix this. Um, also, something I forgot to mention. Um, brief pause. Okay. Um, when you're firing this thing and you put it into your hand, if you want to catch the rubber bands, be sure not to do it like this. Because then you run the risk of pushing this thing back and you um, mess up the firing mechanism. If you're going at a distance, rubber band shoot like they're supposed to. But if you hold against it, you run the risk of, risk of doing that and jamming up the system until you release the pressure. But if you're just looking for rapid fire, don't hold this thing or you'll make it to where it won't work at all. All right, well, um, that's all for this video. And um, I don't know if I'm going to be buying any more Year stuff. Not because of the quality of the products, but because um, I simply don't have the money. And two, I'm running in a room. <laughs> so um, if there's a next time, see you then. God bless. Bye.